Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're diving into Terramind, a market leading employee monitoring DLP and insider risk platform trusted by 10,000 plus organizations. In just the next few minutes, you will see how it captures, analyzes and protects your organization's or for activity. Now let's go to Terramind.co. Keep in mind that you can start a free trial for seven days as I'm gonna do here. And if you like it, you can pay, you know, for any of these plans, which is not too expensive, actually. Now, Terramine combines real-time monitoring, behavioral analytics, and threat detection to guard against insider risks, data leaks, and productivity issues. It offers both cloud and on-premise deployments, comprehensive system recording, keystroke capture, DLP, and AI power alerting via its own feed. From the dashboard, we can see that we have several important menus that we can click on. The first one is going to be employees, of course. That's going to be able to basically, you know, um, monitor each of our employees in the company. Then you also have behavior, which is quite important, especially the policy and alerts, you know, very, very important. And also some other things such as time tracking, okay? Now, the most important part, of course, is that your employees or your contractors or freelancers need to download or you actually need to download uh, in their computers because you are the boss and this is your computers, you know, from your company. You're going to have to download uh, this particular client, okay, to your computers to start monitoring what your employees do with the company computers, okay? So what are you going to do is you're just going to come to this, you know, profile, to this icon profile here and you're going to click on Download Termine Agent. And for most of you, you're gonna to wanna to use the Stell agent, okay, which is this one in here. You can download it for Windows or for Mac, it doesn't matter, okay? And if you're working with contractors or freelancer, you can also download this one, okay? But I recommend doing the Stell agent because it's much more complete. If you need any guides, just click on here, and that's gonna take you to this page, okay? But it's actually very simple. Just download the file and install it, okay? What this is going to do is that you're going to have access to your employees lease, okay? And you can add more employees here and you can basically start monitoring them. It's possible that in the process you will have to disable your antivirus in order to be able to install this, okay? But yeah. Now we're going to create a policy to detect suspicious file transfer behavior, monitor and report, okay? So what are we going to do is we're just going to go to a policies in here, so behavior basically, and then click on policies. Now you have a bunch of example rules, but I'm going to create a new one just to show you. Now I'm just going to give this a name, which is going to be file transfer or USB action. Okay. That's the name. And I'm going to apply the policy to my employees. Okay. As you can see in here, I only have myself and everyone. Okay. So you can do it to everyone or to a particular employee. Okay. Once you have downloaded the client, I'm going to do it to everyone in this case, and I'm going to exclude no one in this case. Okay. Let's click on create. Here, I'm just going to start with a clean slate, okay? I'm not going to use any template. And let's go to the rule category. In the type of rule, I'm going to select activity, although you can also select content sharing. Both are going to work, I think, for this purpose. And we're going to select basically files, okay? We're interested in file transfers, so we're going to, you know, make a policy for these, okay? The rule violence and severity, I just recommend that you're going to leave this to default, okay? Just leave this, uh, leave this to moderate, okay? And let's click on continue. The user selection, we are going to keep as before. Let's click on continue again. And now, here's the most important part, guys. The condition, okay? What's going to happen is that if there's an upload, okay, something is going to happen, right? So this is our first condition. If a file is uploaded, something is going to happen. You can add multiple conditions and you can even add accepts, okay? For example, such as download here, okay? So we're gonna get everything that uploads but nothing that downloads, okay? We're interested in only uploads, okay? And you can even add more conditions if, that was, if that's what you're looking for, okay? Such as access, rename, write, so on and so on, okay? But I'm just gonna add this one here. Let's click on continue. And now we're going to choose the different actions that are going to happen when this action is performed, okay? Several things we can do, guys. We're going to record a video that, in my opinion, is actually mandatory. It says minutes before violation and minutes after violation. I'm just going to give this, you know, two minutes and two minutes. I think that's pretty sensible. And then we can also, like, for example, uh, notify, okay? 
And in this case, I'm just gonna notify myself, okay? Since I'm the, you know, I'm the boss of this company, I'm gonna notify myself. Now, you can also choose to look at the user, but in, in this case, of course, he's gonna know that you're recording his behavior, okay? So keep that in mind. And you can also warn the user, okay? But again, he's gonna know, okay? So, you know, this depends on you. Here, you can write a message that you wanna warn him with, okay? But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Let's click on save and launch rule. Now, whenever this policy actually triggers, what's gonna happen is that we're gonna go to behavior, we're gonna go to alerts, and we are also gonna see all of the alerts here, okay? And we can decide on what to do with them and how we wanna reprehend our employee, all right? You're gonna be able to, of course, to replay the video and, you know, do multiple stuff with it. Besides the alerts and the policies, okay, in general, you're going to be able to see things like, you know, keystrokes, email, instant messages, file transfers, and so on, even if they do not trigger like an alert, okay, you just have to go to the BI reports and click on any category that you want to, you know, see, for example, I don't know, let's say keystrokes, okay, and here you can, you're going to be able to see all of your employees data in terms of keystrokes. Similarly, you have time tracking tools, and this is gonna track basically how much time your employees spend with their computer, you know, running. So the pros of this Terramine um, tool, in my opinion, is that you have very complete features instead of, you know, threat detection, email, file, keystrokes, webcam, webcam, and audio. It also runs, you know, locally. You have to install it on Windows or a Mac. And the license is not too expensive. It's like $10 or $15 per user per month, okay? But yeah. Now, the learning curve is actually not so steep. It's very easy to use. So yeah, guys. The cons, in my opinion, of course, is that this is not a paid, this is not a free plan. You have to pay for it. And maybe the personalization options are not as complete as other tools, okay? So that's pretty much it. And thank you so much.